program as part of that. We do an IG Live together. So what do you got, Grant? How can I help, man? Hey, uh, so I'm a very successful realtor. Um, and I uh, have started having people ask me to coach them and help them and, and really spent some time in the lockdown thinking about what the next step is in my journey. Mm-hmm. And um, I this year I decided I wanted to be a speaker, author, coach. So I'm writing a book. Um, I've um, just got certified as a high performance coach with Brendan's group, uh, which is how I found you, by the way. Cool. And um, just thinking about how do I launch a thought leader career? Um, I fell in love with doing videos. I do listing videos that sell houses and um, really love being in front of the camera, it turns out. And Great. so, uh, yeah, so I'm super pumped about building. I've got a, um, here in Denver, I, I have a Denver office and a Boulder office, but in this office, I've already built out a little, uh, maybe it's 12 by 12 room for a studio. Um, all right. I have gear purchased. I have no excuses. Um, just learning how to get it all set up. I have um, acoustic tiles on the walls. I have lighting on the way. You know, I'm doing the whole thing. And um, what I'm really hoping to do is put out video content um, to start to build, first of all, momentum for my book. Um, I was a millionaire before I was 30. And then I was homeless for six years as a drug addict. So wow. um, I have and I've been clean for 12 years now. So I have a, you know, I have a little bit of a journey to share with people and um, really interested in helping people, you know, like you mentioned in your book, you know, helping people who've been through the same thing. But the same thing in my case might mean somebody who's struggling to make it as a realtor. Um, It might mean somebody who's been homeless. It might mean somebody who's a drug addict. You know, all of those people are in my core group of people to help, Uh, whether they're realtors or um, entrepreneurs. I want to help them uh, build a business the way that I was able to build a business, which was really focusing on the heart rather than the mind. So instead of top of mind, um, I'm all about top of heart, which is all about making real emotional connections with people. So I'm babbling, but the the point of our time together here is I'm really excited to learn from you. Uh, I have a fear and uh, that fear is that is not to do video. My fear is that it is mediocrity. Um, my fear is that, um, you know, I've, I've had some friends start YouTube channels or put out videos and I watch them put out, you know, a video five, six, seven times and they go away and never do it again because it's terrible because there's nobody looking. There's nobody watching. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, um, a high achiever and uh, I expect big things. And I'm afraid that I'm going to start putting out video nobody's going to watch and I'm going to go away. So what I need is a plan to stick to. And if you tell me do X amount of videos this often for this long, um, no matter what, I'll do it. Um, but that's, that's where I need is I need some help with how to get started. Great. And, and the target's going to be real estate or, or no, anybody, anybody who's in sales or, or marketing. So really, which is, you know, an entrepreneur or salespeople, I think that immediately, uh, I can impact realtors. You know, um, if a realtor hears that I've done 50 million in real estate this year, they'll want to learn from me. So I have a really good soft, you know, audience right away. Um, and I have some people that kind of, I believe will follow what I do there, but I want to, I don't want to limit it to this real estate. Got it. So I would create a plan that I would execute for all of 2021 and, and you're not allowed to deviate from it until you get to 2022. Yep. <laughs> and so I judge it like, is it working or not? Cause it, cause YouTube especially takes the, the most time to build, but is the most long-term brand building that you can do because YouTube is the only place where your videos will live forever, right? So we'll post, you know, this as an IG Live is great. We'll have some people watching. You see a couple, some people watching the replay. But, you know, in, in a year, nobody will care what happens on your Instagram. Five days later, nobody cares what's happened on your Instagram. Yeah. But if you're, if you're a fan of Brendan's work, you know, his black and white video series, six years later are still getting views, still getting attention, still getting interest especially if the, if the content you can talk about is evergreen and timeless. So if you're talking about sales principles, as opposed to yeah. selling in December, 2020. Sure. Right. So I want evergreen kind of content and you can definitely dive into elements of your story. I think that's fantastic. Um, three videos a week. You can film them all on one day. If you can get to daily, that's awesome. But, but uh, if you're a high achiever, we, we need to be over one, one a week. 
three would be my kind of minimum in. Um, you can fill them all on one day if you want, you know, for, for a couple of weeks at a time. So you don't have to go into the studio or, you know, three times a week. Um, I want a, a talking head video. So you talking direct to camera and you can, you can pull ideas from whoever you think is your biggest kind of contemporary in the YouTube world. And it's probably a mix of people. There's nobody, there's no one person who's like you. So I'd pull topics from Brendan. I'd pull topics from my channel. I'd pull topics from in sales. I'd be looking at Grant Cardone. I'd be looking at Jordan Belfort. I'd be looking at Robert Kiyosaki. I'd be looking at like whoever are the, your, your bits of all these different people, go to their channels, look at the most successful videos that they've ever done, and then make your version of it. And don't, don't even care what they, I don't care what they said. So if you go to Brendan's channel or Gary V's channel and it's, you know, the advice every 20 year old needs to hear, I want you to make that video without watching what their advice is. I don't care what Brendan's advice is. I want Grant's advice. So focus on the topic. Take the title and take the topic. Okay. A 10 minute plus video. Damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> to sound so long it's okay you, <laughs> i'm just being you honest can, I'm just being no honest. but you could you could do it because you've you you've got knowledge to share sure yeah i babbled at you for 10 minutes already so i'm in yeah well <laughs> babbled is different than 10 minutes right sure yeah <laughs> so yeah in, in in the book there's there's the structure of how to do a perfect thought leadership yeah. piece uh -huh. of content i would hone in on that i i would guess you would be great at your storytelling you could easily tell a three four five minute story or more your story, client story, uh, somebody you've mentored, um, something you see happening with young real estate agents, salespeople, addicts, like there's lots of stories you could tell. I think you'd be great at that. Sure. I think the practical advice piece, you'd probably be great at that too. So, okay, to solve this problem, do one, two, three, step one, do this. And I'm sure you could, you've just had enough experience. You can, you can, even if you had a point form, you could talk to those points and be eloquent in, in tons of value. Where most people struggle is, is the opening. So you got to hit me with something that you believe that that most people would find different or weird. Um, so even as practice, like what's one thing you believe, Grant, that other people don't believe? Uh, lead generation is great. So like that's the first thing out of yeah. your face when you press record. Yeah. The very first thing, right? So when I work yeah. with people, then they they still press record and say, "Hey, it's welcome back. Yeah. It's me, Grant." It's like, no, Grant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. So you press record and like the very first thing has to be a powerful opinion that like, what did he just say? Yeah. And so that that takes some training to do. But I think most of the other stuff you'll be great at. Um, so at least one video a week of the three that is thought leadership like that, direct to camera talking. Uh, I would love to see one of the three be a coaching video. OK. Where there's somebody in front of you like this. This is a yeah. coaching video. Right. But yeah. flipped. So, so now you're coaching somebody who is uh, in your office, is yeah. part of your fan group, um, is an up and coming salesperson, is an addict or is an addict recovery or any of the topics that you deal with. Okay. And the great part about that is you just have to show up. There's no script. Yeah. There's no memorizing yeah. anything. There's no, what's my first sentence. It's, it's you just coaching your, your preparation is the decades of experience you have in this business helping helping people so my um, goal let me interrupt you real quick my goal is to yeah. build a bit of a membership site and do uh, group coaching for certified high performance so i think you've talked about it this before so you, you maybe take a snippet of somebody who's um you know maybe there's a facebook maybe we have a, a zoom call once a month um and i do some one-on-one -on -one in front of everybody else for 15 20 minutes taking a piece of that and just putting that as youtube content you know, with their permission, of course. You exactly. can do that. Um, and or you could do this. Okay. Where you do it over something like Instagram Live to help build your Instagram audience up. Or okay. it could just be a, a, a separate Zoom that you do either for paying members. So, hey, as a bonus, you also get a one-on-one -on -one with Grant. Okay. Right? And then so, do or, you – sorry to interrupt you. But then yeah. do you take this and put it back into YouTube? Meaning do yes. you, okay. Uh, that's not kinda... all of the, like I have a daily show here. Not all of them get cut for YouTube. Some of them, if it's really good, it'll get cut. My team just decides sure. on which one goes up. Um, but yeah, so I, I go live daily on Instagram. 
uh, and okay. that helps the Instagram audience and also creates content for other potential platforms. I mean, this, this could get cut up into a million different ways for different platforms, depending on what comes out of it. Sure. Um, but that could, you could have it as a bonus. So, Hey, here's my membership and it costs X per month. But if you sign up for the annual deal, you also get a one-on-one with grant that Got then it. can be turned into content, right? So you use it to, you can use it to get people into your program. Um, if you love it and, and you want to do more of it, then uh, maybe you have enough members to, to back it up. If not, then you can do it for free and people get to see you coaching so that if it's free, then it's public. If it's free, then it's going to be online. And some people may not want it to be public. So say, okay, great. Well, I've got a, I've got a coaching package and I've got my membership program where you can train with me every two weeks. Sure. Right. So the free gives you the attention that then shows off you as a coach, because if you want to sell a membership program where you're going to be coaching people, I need to see you as a coach. Right. Not just a thought leader talking to the camera. I need to see you like get, get the bug eyes like, Oh my God, Grant, I can't believe what you just said that saved my life. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's fun. You know, it's fun, like talking to a person, not just a sure. camera inside a 12 by 12 little studio. Right. Yeah. Um, and then my third series would be something around the book. So how many chapters are in the book? Um, 15, 16. Yeah. So I would take that and t- turn those into 15 to 16 uh, regular themes okay. that then you cycle through. So like what's chapter one in the book? Um, I don't know. I'm on chapter, or any seven. chapter, whatever. I'm on chapter seven and I haven't thought like the one I'm writing right now is called scraping the bottom. So right. it's about hitting rock bottom and just kind of getting dragged along the bottom. Perfect. <laughs> Instead of so, bouncing off it. Yeah. And what, what chapter number is that? A seven, seven. Perfect. Yeah. So seven is scraping the bottom. And so, you know, every 15, 16 weeks, there's going to be another video about scraping the bottom. Got it. And then you just tell a different story, right? I mean, you've okay. got lots of different stories that you can sure. relate to you, clients in the news cycle about scraping the bottom, because I want you creating content that relates to the book. Okay. And then inside those videos, you can say, hey, and this is also chapter seven in my book, right? And it, and it, it. builds awareness for the book uh, without it being a, hey, go buy my book kind of sales pitch every time. Got it. Um, Inside, so those those would be my three series that I would start with. That's awesome. Direct the camera where you're pulling from the people who you kind of look up to and respect. Uh, coaching with people who are in your community. Uh, and then a, a series around the book. Inside every video should be a call to action to get something free. First chapter of your book for free. Uh, bonus video about the eight sales techniques that can blow up your business how I became a millionaire before 30, like whatever, whatever bonuses uh, fit best. And you put it in, in the middle of the video, not at the beginning, not at the end, but in the middle of the video that then leads people to a landing page. And then you get their email address because yeah. it's great to build a YouTube channel, but I want you to have a business that's successful yeah. on top of it. Not just your goal isn't to just be an influencer, right? Yeah, Absolutely. So we need to get people off of YouTube onto uh, onto our email list. And then when your book comes out, then you've got a list to be able to pitch people to. Um, if you want to add a fourth series in, it would be interviews. Okay. Where you would try to get uh, Grant Cardone and Jordan Belfort and Brendan Burchard and whoever on the channel to do interviews. And then you can run targeted ads against their channel to kind of hack their audience to get them to come on board. Um, even this, like you could take this right. interview, or this one-on-one and turn it into a YouTube video and then run it as a targeted ad against my audience. So then people who know me, they'll click on it cause they know me. And then they'll say, who's this grant guy? And they learn about you and then dive down your channel. Um, if wow, you want to add awesome. a fourth series. That's and cool. then if you, if you wanted to make more then I would, double down on one of those other series. I wouldn't double down on the book, but I would double down on either the coaching or the direct to camera. Yeah. If you want to go to a week on one of those, now we're talking four or five videos a week. Um, again, depends on how committed you are and how serious you want to take it, but at least three of those videos per week for all of 2021 and then evaluate how we're doing at the end of the year. Just like, 
your mindset is where I'm doing this three videos a week for the entire year, not, Oh, I'm quitting in February. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's exactly my fear. How do I get people to the YouTube channel? Like how do they know it even exists? Right. Cause there are a gazillion YouTube channels. How does that? Yeah. So starting point one, we're picking good titles that are coming from uh, other channels. Right. So that, video on Brendan's channel about advice I give to people in my 20s, for example, um, you may not ha- ever have thought of that as a title, but you could give, you could make that video, you know, sure. you could, you can come up with. So we're pulling good titles already. The ultimate hope is to show up as suggested against those people's channels. Um, but step one is picking great topics that people care about. Cause a lot of times you might think, Oh, I'm going to make a video on lead generation. But instead of calling it, it, maybe using the words lead generation sucks on YouTube. Maybe it's how to get more sales, right? And so it, the content could be exactly the same. Yeah. But how you title it can make a world of difference for how that video performs. That's huge. Um, two, do you have an email list? No, nothing. Zero. Okay. So, you know, we got to start building yep. an email list. Yeah. Yeah. And anytime you come up with a new video or a series of videos, you email them the yeah. video so people can find it. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't say zero. You know, I have 150 people who saw me on stage right before COVID yeah. and are really eager to do something with me. And I've done zero with them. <laughs> so right. this is, you know, I'm, it's time. Yeah. Hey, the first 150 is the hardest. So yeah. you got 150. Yeah. You send them links to the videos as they come up. Um, even better if you can put them inside a playlist. Okay. Uh, the link it, goes into a playlist. Yeah, I'm going to show you a hack. I'm going to show you a hack, Grant. This is great. Let me show. I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to show you this right now. This is what you're going to have to do when you put out all your videos. Okay, so we're, we're going to go to Brendan's channel. So we've got the videos here, uh, and say this one says generate energy in your life. Okay, like okay. say this is your video. Yeah. Okay. When you load the video here, there's an ID up here. Okay, it's going to go YouTube.com/slash/watch question mark V equals, and then this is the ID of that video. Okay. Okay. That's the video ID. Why this is so important is we're going to go back to Brendan's channel. We're going to click upload. So we're going to click play all. And then this code we need to pull from your list. So up here, you only have to do this once. Once you get this code, we're going to take this as and list equals this giant thing. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Okay. Then we're going back to his video here. If I paste this at the end of this list, at the end of that link, it's going to paste it. What's going to happen is it still shows me the video, but now on the side, it's inside of a playlist. Wow. So what's going to happen is it says 284 videos. So you share this video and then automatically it's going to run through 284 other videos from his channel. Right. And so if you only have five videos, it'll only show five videos, right? Yeah. But as you keep yeah. adding to it, it's going to keep adding more and more and more and more videos in. Wow. Some people load the video and then just turn it off. Like or, or they don't turn off the computer, but they go for lunch or something and they come back. Yeah. Like, oh, I just ended up watching 30 of Grant's videos in the background. Yeah which all helps with the algorithm yeah. people find yeah. out about yeah, you, right? Incredible. incredible. Now you can also do this with other, any video on YouTube. So this is, this is, um, okay, let me find like, uh, let's go Grant Cardone, another Grant. So if I go to Grant Cardone and we pull up this thing he did about real estate predictions. So this is the video. If you wanted to share this video, you could take Grant's video, put the same link at the end, And then it's going to put it inside Brendan's playlist. Oh, wow. So after Grant's video is done, we're going to watch 284 of Brendan Burchard videos. Wow. So for you, if you want to share my video or Gary V video or this inspirational video that you found that's not yours, you then add your code at the end of it. And when that video finishes, it'll just auto start playing all of your videos afterwards. That's amazing. You seem to get that link once, like that link that I copied was yeah. Brendan's link, right? You got to yeah. get your link. 
once you have your channel, we can set that up. And if you forget, I can, I can help you again to do it. But um, yeah, it's like a quick little setup. And then you put that at the end of any video that you're going to share. If you're just sending it to one person and look, look what I did. Actually, I just left my computer and yeah, the grant and video is still playing. <laughs> right. That's so amazing. I'm going to end up watching yeah. like 40 Brendan Burchard videos because I forgot that I left it open, which That's helps incredible. again with the YouTube algorithm. Um, if you send it to one person, it doesn't matter. Like, don't worry about adding the code if you just send it to your friend. But right. if you put it into a newsletter or on social media where multiple people could be looking at it, it all adds up for the watch time. Um, the and then the other thing, thing, so the yeah. thing about that I can imagine is, you know, instead of hitting my audience over the head with another email about me, I can say, you know, hey, check out this amazing video from Evan Carmichael, but Carmichael, but they end up going through my videos after that anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. And, and it, the link leads them to that video. Yeah. So they don't have to click anything else. They're still yeah. watching that one video, but then at the end, all of a sudden, they just get put into the playlist. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. So every time you're sharing in a newsletter or publicly, you want to add your link. Um, and then third thing quick is I would look at, if you really want to grow quickly, I would look at a targeted ad campaign. Yep. Okay. If you have a budget to spend um, yeah. against different people's audiences. So on, on social or on YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Uh, suggested video. So video discovery, there's pre-roll and discovery. Uh -huh. Pre-roll means it shows up before somebody else's video. You don't want that. Discovery means it'll show up down the side. And so I would look at different videos going to different people's audiences. Okay. So anything high performance, we're targeting Brendan's audience. Anything real estate, we're targeting Grant's audience. You know, anything sales, maybe we're targeting Jordan's audience or, or uh, you know, like whoever you think. And it's got to sure. be a big player, but if they only have sure. a small audience, it's not worth doing. Um, anything entrepreneurship, you could target my channel, my audience. And you don't need access to be able to, to do it. Like you could just target my audience right now with any video that you've got. You just want to be cognizant. If you did a real estate video to my audience and may not be as yeah. good as Grant Cardell. 